Holy smokes guys, this is absolutely crazy as so, hell, literally the Sunday, the 10th of July, we got finally some confirmation, some really strong confirmation that Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 is in development and it's coming guys, now that is freaking, freaking awesome, alright, this is just crazy guys and from this day onwards, this is of course officially confirming on this channel that I am going to, need, going to support and back Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, sorry, Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 3, not Kakarot because Kakarot is already finished, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3, I'm going to back it and make, literally cover it when it releases, like every single day, basically. Before release, we're going to make a ton of videos, discuss it now and then, basically, but especially when it releases, I'm going to support it with uh, gameplays, with tournaments, with mods, uh, I'm going to try a bunch of mods, and I'm going to play it on PC so we can do lots of mods, lots of modding, lots of different things there and it's gonna be awesome now the bad news is that it's only coming in 2024 so we have to wait for literally two years right two years for the game's release and i don't believe it's gonna come in early 2024 most likely towards the end of 2024 so that's actually more than two years it's like two years and a couple of months so almost almost two years and a half Obviously, it's good news and bad news at the same time, but it's good news because that means that they're finally, guys, they're finally doing, all right, a development on a game which has sold millions, and it makes sense. The best thing about this is that when the game comes out in 2024, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X exclusive because the old gen is going to just hold the game back too much, and of course, PC, right? Now, the game is going to have, obviously, performance, 60 FPS, all that good stuff which is now kind of like standard in a PlayStation 5 for example every single game has the performance mode and has the graphical mode I am pretty sure it's gonna have it now thinking about like graphics and everything guys this could just be insane the source is from Psycho Devin so this YouTube channel here you go to the YouTube video here kudos to him Did I you? don't know where he got this uh, information but basically he got he got it and uh, he talks about this here uh, so yeah, so this leaker effectively has confirmed this. We have also here replying hype says replying to Chronicles and Psycho Devin. Low told ya, slow plays. Okay, now where's the Bardo DLC? Yes, sir. So yeah, we have obviously a lot of people, lots of influencers who talk about Dragon Ball as well, and they have you know bigger YouTube channels. Uh, they have you know talking about this a lot. So guys, this is really exciting to be honest. I just cannot believe how crazy this is. Now the first, the first question I would have right now is the following. And by the way, uh, this is from the DLC two. Uh, this is from a video from the DLC two DLC. Sorry, my bad. From the DLC fourteen for Xenoverse two this particular screenshot so this is not for uh from xenoverse 3 this is not the picture from xenoverse 3 this is just literally from the dlc 14 which has just released for xenoverse 2 a couple of days ago just so you guys know okay just in case you you see this picture and you're like oh my god this is the official official picture no it's not the official picture right so uh, the next thing is that how is this game going to develop so of course we know that xenoverse 2 has kind of talked about you know the different timelines and stuff so xenoverse 3 needs to take a leap forward xenoverse 3 needs to be something else because it just cannot be the same thing it needs to have a better graphical you know engine it needs to have better online and needs to have a ton of good things so people basically abandon Xenoverse 2 and then they jump on the Xenoverse 3 game they spend their money and then they start paying for DLC so just imagine for a second there's going to be so much DLC content there for Xenoverse uh, 3 it's just gonna be crazy guys I'm just right now just right now I'm already imagining uh, the game is most likely going to cover um, some of the characters from Super not all of them quite a lot of them and then they're going to start introducing characters from the movies and other stuff and of course different kind of like versions and whatnot so it's gonna be again a big leap for the game itself another question which people may have is of course what kind of graphical engine will they be using right if i would be them i would definitely obviously change the graphical engine to something better i would be thinking about unreal engine 5 unreal engine 5 right now is going to be the best engine in the next couple of years like for example developers like cd project red are already using it okay on their next iteration of the witcher for example and so many other companies so using unreal engine 5 Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts as well, 4 is going to use Unreal Engine 5 and many other open world games. So just having, just imagine for a second, you have Unreal Engine 5, you can make the most craziest massive fights in the Dragon Ball history. On top of that, I do hope that Xenoverse 3 also kind of like 
gives you the opportunity to like explore the world in a better way like gives you more flexibility like you can actually go to different worlds like explore different areas because it's gonna have instantaneous loading times right so because it's gonna have instantaneous loading times you can just literally skip from one planet to another from one area to another just like that and automatically so that would just be crazy because then you can just have that kind of like immersion in the game which before it was really difficult to establish with the ps4 right and that's another reason why i'm really hyped about this guys because this is just crazy now of course like i said before guys uh we don't know when this can actually come particularly which month the expectation is for 2024 this is not the official confirmation from bandai namco themselves but i do expect that they're going to make the official announcements in a couple of months okay and now xenoverse 3 because it's in development i obviously expect that this has been in development for a couple of years for example when they announced kakarot kakarot for chuck mozzie kakarot the game was in development already for a couple of years so the game i think was in development for like four years if i'm not mistaken just before it got released so that means that this game if it's releasing in 2024 in two years that means that the development of this game more or less started around potentially 2020 as in just after the release of kakarot which would make again perfect sense Kakarot got released in February 2020, and then of course we got Dragon Ball um, uh, development for this one, which would make again perfect sense. It would make so much more sense for them to effectively follow this through and then have it like that in their game, right? And yeah guys, so that's it for this one. Hopefully guys, hopefully we have some more information on this uh, later on. Uh, I do expect that the game is going to be huge. I do expect that the game is going to be massive. Expect a massive, maybe they're gonna make it open world. You never know, right? Because it just makes sense. Having an open world, a true open world Dragon Ball game, right? Where you just fly around, you meet enemies, you fight instantaneously, just like in, in Kakarot. Because in Kakarot, as you guys remember, you will fly around and you fight against them instantaneously. So you have the same thing you have your hub area just like an mmorpg basically you have your hub area and then you leave the hub area you just fly around explore the world basically you can obviously teleport to different planets but then when you go to those planets apart from the hub area if you go outside there's different enemies different missions and you, like there's different like boss fights like raid fights you can join effectively so there's so many good things they could be making with this game guys because again like the possibilities are now unlimited because the technology we have with of course the playstation 5 and the xbox series x and the ssd is going to be key in delivering that quality of entertainment for people and guys this is super exciting but yeah that's it for today's video guys i shall more talk about more of this later on of course as always and uh yeah so obviously uh, i know burko also is uh you know following this and he's in, he, on his channel he does this a lot so uh here we go this is like the picture here <laughs> which is really cool so yeah, obviously he's gonna be really excited about it which is, of course you know it makes perfect sense because he covers his universe too a lot uh, on his channel so guys i cannot wait guys i cannot wait to literally watch this develop and of course see some proper gameplay from ban and uncle in terms of an official announcement when will ban and uncle announce this officially i would expect somewhere around the tokyo game show for example that could be a possibility or at some point early 2023 okay that's again another possibility but guys that's it for today's video as always i shall see you later in the next one and remember i'm going to cover on this channel going forward any news about the numbers three as you can imagine and of course when the game releases we will literally support this game on this channel like massively crazily a lot trust me it's going to be crazy it's going to be awesome but guys that's it for today's video as always i shall see you later in the next one bye